this is all over the news and normally we don't cover big news things because everybody else is covering it but this was kind of interesting i thought over in brooklyn and you've heard of the brooklyn bridge it's you know it's usually in a lot of movies and that's usually the first thing that goes out is the brooklyn bridge because the, the ufos land or whatever or yeah, meter comes down and destroys all the cars on it because you know it's a marvelous target for movie goers. Something that happened just a couple days ago. Somebody got up there on the bridge with a group of people anyway. They climbed up on top, took down the American flag that was down there, and they put up another one. Well, you know, it doesn't sound like that's all that exciting, except for the one that they put up there was all bleached out. And it was an American flag because if you look at the pictures very carefully, it shows that there are some remnants of color. So it was an, a flag at one point, but it's just all, like I said, all bleached out. Now, some people have been commenting. Apparently, they, some one person put on there on Twitter from Twitter thought it was aliens that did it. It's like, yeah, aliens are going to come down. They have nothing else better to do in the cosmos, but we're going to come down and we're going to change a flag from from uh, your flag to white. Just, just, just to fuck with you. Right. You know, <laughs> one of the people who were investigating this said, I think it was some people who knew how to climb bridges. Well, you think, really? You think? No, it's just some inexperienced guy who's never climbed a bridge or anything like that, just decided to climb up there, just happened to have a flag with him, and he's going to climb around with and go up there and change it out. So let's be realistic, people. Dave, your thoughts? I didn't realize this was, like, big news or anything. I haven't seen it in the news. But, you know, my, my only thought is that it's pretty remarkable that no one noticed them doing it. Yeah. That's actually a little scary. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's, it's probably some sort of political statement of some sort. I don't get it. But, you know, some people did it, and I really don't know what else to say about it. Some of you were saying that Manhattan was surrendering to Brooklyn. <laughs> we surrender just take us over well, and maybe maybe that's the point maybe they do something stupid mm -hmm. and then everybody comes up with all these ridiculous theories about it i mean it, seriously the alien thing is probably a joke that's got to be a joke right? i would like, i would hope so i tried this new app on my phone today and i would just speak to somebody real briefly i said i was from wisconsin i said they go oh where i asked where they're from they say, oh united states and i said you do know the wisconsin is part of the united states oh really i was like oh yeah, so that doesn't surprise me that the level of mentality that someone says it's aliens, it it doesn't surprise me at all, actually. I don't know. I, I'm thinking, I mean, was it was it one of those memes with the guy from the History Channel? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. It didn't have the picture. It just said it was aliens, you know. It was like, okay. <laughs> now, it, they did say at this time, no, no particular uh, nexus to terrorism or politics. He said that this would, could be someone's art project or someone's statement. We're just not clear what the statement is. I'm kind of curious about what it is. Also, one of the people who's involved in the investigation, he's putting up $5,000 as a reward for information to lead out who did this. Now, what was amazing is the fact that, as you kind of alluded to it, Dave, that no one really noticed it. They took cake pans and they put them over the lights so no one would see that they, the flag was going down and put one back up. And, and then, boom, they're gone. And yeah. There was apparently a terrorist threat to the Brooklyn Bridge at one point because they said that they were... At they, many points. Oh, uh, yeah, many points, yeah. That they said, well, when we get, when we get people out there and we're going to cut the suspension bridge, you know, that the, 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 the suspension pieces, I'm thinking, what are you going to do, go out there with a hacksaw? You're going to be out there for some time, you know. It's it's not like these are little thin cables, like, you know, can go out there with a pair of scissors. You, you'd, have to, you'd be out there for quite some time with any kind of equipment any kind of equipment so they've got police surrounding these areas and cameras on there like all 24 hours a day so the fact is that somebody was able to get up there and do this it does yeah, kind of speak to something that's a little terrifying yeah uh, and and isn't saying that's either a art project or a statement kind of a false dichotomy why can't it be both yeah it could be be neither it could be neither it could just be someone's some people could just say it's just a prank you're just like hey let's see what we could get away with yeah Maybe. Yeah. Dana, your thoughts? Well, I, I'm going to say it's a it's a darn shame that this didn't get any media coverage because this would be the best headline ever. Mm -hmm. Could you imagine? Like ABC News would be like, white flag raises red flag. Details at 10. <laughs> <laughs> no. <Yeah>. Um, <laughs> think of it. Oh, of course, to your point about conspiracy theories, mm -hmm. someone's got to call Alex Jones because this is literally <laughs> a false flag operation. Ah! <laughs> Brilliant. 
Brilliant. <laughs> of, uh, of course, conservatives everywhere, of course, after blaming Obama for it, are now in a frenzied panic, thinking that they've just signaled their surrender to Al-Qaeda or right. China or, I don't know, some Aliens. country in the axis of evil or Canada. <laughs> right. I, yeah, apparently, somebody, was, uh, Connie was saying that the NYPD was too busy harassing citizens. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. We're funny. we're too busy. Flag fuck. We don't got no time for no flag. We're we're too we're down here, you know, harassing the people just for for shits and giggles over here, you know. <laughs> I think we just surrendered to Iraq. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's it. Exactly. What else does white flag mean? I mean, is it does it mean anything but surrender? Well, that's the thing. Yeah, that is one of the surrenders things. But with the flag, see, if they had taken the flag and they had turned it upside down, that would have definitely been a political statement because there's a lot of people out there that think that, you know, the United States is just surrendering to whatever, for whatever reason. Usually it's Republicans, and they they turn the flag upside down. And that's usually a sign. It's also another sign of distress. So if you're on a, a ship at sea or whatever, and you turn the flag upside down, then that's supposed to let other people in the area, if they should see you, say, hey, we need help over here, and you're supposed to go and help them. But a white flag, that does, you know, also is, that's the old classic, I surrender, don't don't shoot or whatever. But here's an idea, just a thought, because all the people that go around shooting people is like, hey, we surrender, don't shoot us anymore. You know, from Brooklyn, we're over here in Brooklyn, don't shoot us from well, Detroit. It wasn't really a white flag, it was a bleached flag. Right, exactly. You could you could still see some some American there. There's still some American there. Just a little bit. We're washed out. Maybe that's that's maybe that's what it is. It's a yeah, washed out America. There you go. <laughs> now, now we're coming on to some conspiracy theories. That's Let's right. all speculate some more. <laughs> maybe, maybe it literally means tread on me. Right. Yeah. <laughs> We've been treaded on. <laughs> We've been treaded on. We. <laughs> we're the treading, so... had, the treading on me has been done. Right. <laughs> we, we've been washed out completely. <laughs> it is It is a bridge. It was built to be tread upon. That's right. <laughs> now I'm definitely calling Alex Jones. <laughs> oh, yeah, call in. Tell him there was a false flag. Right. <laughs> Let it be known, Alex. Get your info war on, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the truest thing he said ever. <laughs> <laughs>